reporting live from that area. Brandon, how are folks uh, taking this potential threat along the coastline there? You know, John, from what I've seen and what I've heard today, it's about half and half. There's a lot of people that have stayed behind, even where we are now, which is a strip of land that has some mandatory evacuations in effect. We're only here for a few hours before we go back inland. In fact, you can see some people here not taking it too seriously at all. They've been out in the water surfing, strong rip currents. Earlier, police were actually coming down here to get people out of the water and off the beach since this is in a mandatory evacuation area, but they haven't been back in a while. Uh, they let us stay here for a few hours just to uh, send some reports back to your way. But storm surge we're expecting here in Palm Beach County, we're in the southeast part of the county, in fact, five to eight feet. So that's five to eight feet the ocean will rise above its highest tide, which it's a low tide right now. The tide has slowly been coming in since we've been out here. That is one part of the storm that they're bracing for. The second part of this storm, which is unlike Harvey, Harvey in Texas came to a complete stop and dumped a lot of rain. We're only expecting up to around 12 inches of rain here, which surely will cause some flooding, but not like it did uh, with Hurricane Harvey. This one, they're expecting significant wind damage. As John mentioned, the newest track from the National Hurricane Center strengthens the, strengthens the storm back to a Category 5 hurricane with 160 mile per hour winds in the Florida Straits before it makes landfall in South Florida. Now, when I talk to some police here, they are actually slightly relieved to see that track shifting west, which means some worse things if you're over in the Fort Myers area. But uh, people have uh, been leaving if they already wanted to leave. Otherwise, I think they're ready to ride the storm out, guys. And Brandon, I have a question for you. You know, a lot of people have been reaching out to us here in the newsroom and saying, is Brandon safe? I mean, why isn't he leaving? I, I assume that you've got a, a place to be when this storm really hits in full force. Yeah, well, Kami, one of our primary jobs, the reason why we're down here is we're actually reporting for our sister station at uh, West Palm Beach. Uh, they have a situated here in Ocean Ridge. People in this area, they want to know what the storm is doing. Uh, there's been a lot of updates coming in. So we're actually providing information on their local station to locals here uh, about how the storm is changing. They needed an extra meteorologist. They needed to know about evacuation orders. So that's our primary job. But of course, we're here uh, to, to keep you guys updated as well on our uh, spare time. But we have a place to stay. We have some shelter that's about two to two and a half miles inland from here that we planned out away from flood zones, away from evacuation zones. In the building that we're staying in, a lot of the buildings down here are actually rated for the category of hurricanes that they can withstand. And the place that we're staying will surely uh, withstand the worst case scenario. So uh, we're gonna be safe down here. Uh, we'll keep you updated as we uh, go through the coming days, guys. Good right. to hear. Thank you, Brandon. And you will be able to get the latest information from Brandon on Facebook. He's going to be reporting live throughout the weekend. Just head to the local 12 news page.